Okay, let's get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. As you can see from the title on today's video, I'm going to be giving you my full review with spoilers of Hotel Transylvania 4 Transformania. I know that this is not precisely 100% horror, but I love the franchise. It's about the Universal Classic Monsters animated version. It's for kids, but still it's a movie that even adults can enjoy. So this is why I'm going to be doing the review. So in case that you like the franchise just as me, or maybe you have a kid in your life that enjoys the franchise and you want to know what the hell you're getting into before having to watch it, if you understand. But like I said, this is a review with spoilers if you don't want them just to see our general version of my opinion on the description box down below. There you're going to find my spoiler free review on my website or on my Leatherbox profile because I like to give you guys the options. So giving the little talk disclaimer ahead, let's get into the video. Now, like I said, this is Hotel Transylvania 4. This one is confirmed as the last movie of the franchise. This one was supposed to be coming on summer of 2021, but it was put it on October and then eventually on January 14 of 2022 and was going to be directly on Amazon Prime Video. This is not a movie that you will be watching on movie theaters, just on Amazon Prime Video. I know how the factor of just being on streaming service is going to affect this one instead of the other ones that the first three were on movie theaters and also were on the middle of a pandemic but this movie had a lot of trouble before coming out but we finally have it now the plot behind this one it's that when van helsing mysterious invention goes haywire drag and his monster pals all all transform into humans and johnny becomes a monster in their new mismatched bodies drag and johnny must team up and race across the globe to find a cure before it's too late now, simple words, drag and all the monsters are becoming human and Johnny is becoming a monster, but why? The movie starts with the 125th anniversary of the hotel and Dracula is talking with Erica. They never tell if they got married. Because of course, Hotel Transylvania 3 ended with him proposing to her, but they never fully go on the explanation or if they're married but we're going to assume that they are so he's talking to her about how he wants to basically le leave the hotel to Mavis and she's like oh and also Johnny and Dracula is yeah Mavis and Johnny but Mavis hears the conversation and she tells Johnny and when Dracula is about to tell everyone the news Johnny is so excited that he goes to him telling him about his new ideas about the hotel and Dracula goes into this mode of like watching this new version of Johnny's vision for the hotel and he's like no he's going to ruin it so I'm going to tell him no. So he makes an excuse and says basically to Johnny that because he's human he won't be able to give him the hotel which is a lie and basically he tells the news to everybody that he's going to making a new bathroom on the lobby. So of course Mavis, Erica and Johnny all three are like this wasn't the announcement so basically Dracula never really tells Mavis like the reason why he didn't and of course Erica but Johnny he's like of course sad about it so he met Van Helsing because he's living on the basement of the hotel and he has this type of weapon that will be will turn him into a monster and happens this is something that he saw on the trailer but by mistake because Dracula is trying to make him human once again because Johnny becomes a really annoying character on this one the reality is that his character for me was hella hella annoying so on this part he wants to tell Mavis and he's running around the hotel he's breaking stuff because he's so happy he's a really ugly monster if you ask me and dracula is behind him trying to turn him once again into a human but of course he's failing on the process so by accident dracula becomes human and now johnny's a monster and they break the stone and the whole weapon now another stone it's available only on south america they don't really specify but they only say that it's on the amazon so we can assume that it's between brazil or peru 
that because the Amazons are a really, really big forest, so we could say that is there. Now, since Dracula was shooting so frenetically, one little tiny bit of the stone ended on the water fountain that was on the party and all the monsters drank from it. They didn't realize that it was green. And then we have Frankenstein and the mummy and the little man and even Blobby. He becomes just a plate of gelatin without nothing else. And this is when the first time that we see the invisible man, his ginger and his naked, of course. This is like one of the biggest jokes when it comes on the movie for kids specifically, of course. I mean, they are the target audience. You're going to, of course, identify which jokes are made for children. Well, basically, it's like I said, it's the travel of Dracula and Johnny to the Amazons looking for the stone because at this point, Mavis doesn't know yet what the hell is happening, of course, until she sees all of the monster stories to human. So Erica is like, oh, it's not that like there's a crazy person on the basement on the basement of the hotel, and then she's like, oh, he did it. So of course they realize that Van Helsing it's the one to blame here, and he tells them. So they go all the way to South America trying to find Dracula and Johnny, and this is type of a uh, father and son trip dracula wants to call it because he wants he doesn't really want to like do something for his relationship with johnny but johnny wants to so of course he's putting all the effort while dracula only wants to become a monster again and try to turn johnny into a human so Dracula doesn't really hear, of course, thinking about anyone else rather than just himself, something that they do a lot. They make him look as only looking and taking care of the hotel and not thinking on the others and just on him. So here it goes full mode on that. So, of course, eventually Johnny finds out about the lie. He gets full monster mode because the longer that you stayed on the shape and the form that you are, the worse it's going to become. So Johnny is becoming a full aggressive monster. And of course we have the whole gang once again trying to call him down, finding the stone, and of course make, making him a human again. After Dracula tells him like you're part of the family, you're what well, makes it all stick together. This type of speech that you see coming from a mile away. The movie's way too predictable. Like, like I said, it's a kid's movie. Happens, but still, it's way too predictable. You know why it's going to happen all along. So basically, the movie ends with they're returning to the hotel and it's completely destroyed because of Van Helsing. He had another experiment that basically destroyed the hotel. So he's like, you know what, Johnny, maybe stay with the hotel, do whatever you want. They basically make it all like it was like they don't make any changes and basically the movie ends when they get to the lobby because maybe says we did a few changes and when dracula looks he opens his eyes and that's it so it doesn't really give closure to the story and when it comes to the credits it's all animated and kind of shows what they did to the hotel but still this movie like i said it's an unnecessary one. I would have preferred to see Dracula's and Erica's wedding and maybe seeing Dracula going crazy with the fact that he's going to remarry and that, I don't know, I would have done a really different plot because here it was really nonsense. Johnny was pretty annoying. For me, it was even boring. Like, I am the type of person that love animated movies. I'm going to laugh a lot with animated movies. I don't care that they are for kids. I love the first one and the second. The third one, not so much. But this one is not the type of movie that I would have enjoyed on a movie theater. Definitely, I am grateful on the part. But definitely for me, this one, it's the worst one of all four. If I will ever do a ranking, they're coming on the same order that they came out. The first one, the second, the third one, and here, the fourth one. Um, I think that, like I said, this wasn't necessary. They could have done it better. Like I said, Johnny was way too annoying. And well, this is basically my opinion on it. Um, I will give it uh, two stars out of five. Or maybe uh, 4.5, almost 5 out of 10. And well, this is all 
for the video the reality is i don't have much to say rather that i am kind of disappointed because i was expecting a lot from the movie since i really really love the franchise but since i am not the main target audience um they don't really care about this and many people won't even care about what an adult would say about a child's movie but well if you like the franchise as much as me then let me know what do you think or maybe if you watch it with your kids what they thought they they like it they didn't because sometimes kids can be harsh to a movie and they won't like it as much as others so let me know in the comments what do you think and well this is all for the video thank you guys so much for watching and i'm going to see you guys on the next one bye Thank <laughs> you.